Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new series, Cravings, where I'm sharing you easy make at home recipes should you have a small craving for something sweet during the day, because I know I do. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make oat, raisin and apricot cookies. I used to make these cookies when I worked in a cafe and every time I made them, I couldn't help myself by eating one or two of them. They are so delicious, really simple to make as well. And the best part is that you can actually pre-make the cookie dough, keep it in your fridge or freezer and then bake them fresh every time. So let's get straight into the recipe. So I'm starting with my butter in the mixer bowl. This has been at room temperature for a couple of hours, so it's nice and soft. And I'm going to add my sugar. And I'm going to mix this on a high speed until it's light and fluffy. So this has been mixing for a couple of minutes. You can see how light and fluffy it's become, but there is a little bit of butter pushed around the edges. So I'm just going to scrape down the bowl. And before I mix it again, I'm just going to add my vanilla. So I'm just gonna give that another mix on high speed for another minute. Now that should be beautiful and creamy. You can see how much lighter and paler it is. So we're done with the mixer because I'm gonna mix the rest of the ingredients in by hand, but I'm just gonna make sure as much of it is scraped off the beater as possible. So into this bowl, I'm going to add my flour and baking powder, which is already mixed together, and the oats. And I'm going to mix this together. Just until all of the flour has coated the oats evenly, because it will help mix in with the butter afterwards. And now I can go in with that beautifully soft butter and sugar. and mix that through. So this is the base of the dough done, basically. Um, so these are going to be apricot and raisin cookies, but if you don't like apricots, you can just do raisins or vice versa. You can even add different fruits, but I love the apricots in this. They're so juicy. And I've got these gorgeous big raisins too. So they go straight in. And if you also wanted, you can add some lemon zest or orange zest. But for me, just the vanilla is enough. And I'm gonna mix these through until all of the dried fruit is evenly dispersed. So to help me scoop the cookies, I'm using a large ice cream scoop. It's the easiest way to get a consistent size in each one and I'm going to just put them on a tray. Now, this isn't the same tray that I'm going to bake them on, because these are gonna go in the freezer before I bake them. So it's just giving me a place to put them for now. I like to compress it quite a lot before scooping it out. So now what I like to do, which is optional, I like to now re-roll it in my hand. It compresses the cookie a little bit more, which I find helps with the cooking and gives it a slightly chewier center because they don't spread out as much. Now I'm gonna put these in the freezer for about 10 minutes to firm up a little bit before baking. So here are the baked cookies. Now these were baking at 180 degrees for about 18 minutes. So I would set your timer for 15 minutes and check them. You want to basically wait until they've opened and they're starting to turn golden brown, but you can still see pale parts of the cookie, which shows that they're still gonna be chewy on the inside. And I've left these to completely cool before putting them on to a cooling rack, because only then, can they come off and stay as one giant cookie? Look how gorgeous and thick it is as well. So I like to just transfer them onto the cooling rack just so that all the heat can escape from the bottom. 
So once again, you can only transfer them once they've cooled down, otherwise they'll fall apart. Oh my gosh, this is really taking me back to when I worked in this cafe and I used to bake a whole tray of these and my mouth starts salivating, so I know how good these are gonna taste, but nevertheless, I have to try one right now, right? Especially because they smell so good. I'm gonna go for this one here. Ah, oh, and they're still soft enough that when you tear it apart, you can just tell how chewy they are. I'm gonna get a bit with apricot in as well. Mmm! -hmm. Wow, better than I remembered them. <laughs> maybe because of the pregnancy, but mm, so good. I think I'm really gonna play around with these. Um, and you can too, you can swap the raisins for other fruits like I mentioned, but something about the apricot gives it this like juiciness and sweetness. It's perfect, it satisfies my cravings. I hope it does for you too. Don't forget you can find all the recipe in the description box below and I hope you make them. And if you do, don't forget to tag me at George's Cakes and we'll see you next time.